Hey guys, Chris here, lead trainer at Film Editing Pro. In this video, we're going to teach you all about how to make a multicam by auto syncing using your audio waveforms in Premiere Pro. Quick note, for a steady stream of new tutorials from professional Hollywood editors, be sure to subscribe to the Film Editing Pro channel and turn on notifications. Now, I'm going to hand this off to Brian, one of the trainers here at Film Editing Pro. He's been editing professionally for 15 years, and he's going to walk you through this lesson. All right, let's begin. If you don't know what a multicam is, here's a quick primer. A multicam is what you would make when you want to sync your audio and your video together into a single clip. It's basically just a sequence with a set of fancy output settings that make it work and act like a clip in your timeline, more than just a regular nested timeline would. There are many ways to create a multicam. You can use the endpoints on your clips, you can use timecode if your clips share matching timecode, or you can use audio waveforms. You might already know how the audio waveform syncing works in Premiere if you've been doing it in the timeline. For example, take these two clips here from the short film Fingerprints. I know they belong together because I can see the slate in the video matches the name of the audio clip in the timeline. So I'll select both of them, right click, and choose Synchronize. I can select to synchronize by audio waveform, and we'll let Premiere do its magic and voila, they are now lined up. I use this tool all the time. But what if you wanted to take it a step further and have it so that these clips stay connected in their own clip together? That's where the multicam comes in. The reason that you would use audio waveforms to create your multicams tend to be because you are filming something like a documentary with scratch audio on the camera. Typically, these types of shoots don't have matching timecode and don't have a slate clap, so you'll be relying on the scratch audio from the camera to match the audio waveforms of the secondary audio device being used to record while on location. The second reason might be because you are filming a movie where the sound mixer sent an audio feed directly to the camera. This is actually quite common, especially when you are unable to send timecode to the camera, and is a great way to make sure you keep your audio and video in sync. Even though you may have received a stereo feed of audio from your mixer directly to your camera, it's important to sync your video to the original sound mixer's audio files from the set, because their original files will contain individual tracks for each audio source, like a boom mic or a lavalier. This is going to make choosing the best audio source a lot easier when cutting. So let's hop back into our project for the short film Fingerprints and create a multicam for these two clips on the timeline. Let me show you a couple of clever ways you can do this really easily. The first is to use color labels. In the file menu, under project settings, choose general. In this screen, you want to make sure to check this box down here to display the project item name and label color for all instances. What I can do is select both clips on my timeline and label them something like yellow, a label that I'm not currently using for anything else. Now, back in my bin, it will be very easy to spot which two clips I'd like to sync together into a multicam because they'll be yellow. Another easy way to find these clips in your bin if you don't typically work with that checkbox toggled on is to make a new bin in your project and call it something like syncing. Open it up as a new floating window. Now, in your timeline, you can use Match Frame to load the video clip into your source monitor, and from there, you can right-click and choose Reveal in Project. Now, simply drag it into the syncing bin. That might seem like it took a couple of extra steps, but watch me do it with shortcut keys for this audio track here. It's pretty quick. It's even quicker if you map those shortcut keys to something really easy in your keyboard shortcut menu, just like I've done here. Now that we've sorted our syncing clips into an easy-to-find place, we can select them and right-click to choose Create Multi-Camera Source Sequence. In this menu, we'll choose to sync by audio. For an added bonus, we can have Premiere move our synced files to a separate bin called Processed Clips by checking this box. I don't typically use this checkbox, and if you're curious why, we cover all of that in our video on syncing by timecode. And now we have a perfect multicam to edit with. There are a couple of things you want to watch out for when you're syncing by audio though. First, if the audio on your camera doesn't match the audio on your recording, they won't magically sync up. Take these clips for example. When I try to sync them up, I just get an error message, but no explanation. Well, we can take a look at the footage and probably figure out what happened here. Listen to the video clip. And now listen to the audio. You have been vague in responding to my emails. 
The camera is quite far away from the scene, so the sound is almost inaudible, whereas the nice production audio we have here is crystal clear, probably from wireless lavaliers and a boom mic. Next, you want to watch out for the placement of audio tracks. It's most common for both your camera and your audio recording device to put a stereo mixdown of your audio on tracks 1 and 2, like this. However, sometimes you'll get an odd situation where that's not the case, and track 1 might be totally blank, even if the rest of your audio tracks have sound on them. When you enter the multicam syncing menu, you are presented with an option to choose which track channel you want to listen to. By default, it's going to say 1, meaning it'll listen to the first track of your clips and use that to sync. However, if that first track is totally blank, there won't be anything to sync to. So instead, you may need to change this box to say Mix Down, which will combine all of the audio together while it listens for matching waveforms. Finally, you need to watch out for audio that does match, but shouldn't. It's pretty rare that you'll have this problem, but I can say with certainty that it's happened to me. Most commonly, you'll have this problem when you are syncing music, whether a live performance or footage from a music video. That is because you might only be filming one portion of a song, however, most songs have repetition in them, so Premiere won't know which repeated segment of the song to sync to. And so in cases like this, I'll just sync it up manually to keep it in sync. Hey there! For tons more free editing training, head over to our website at filmeditingpro.com slash free training. Here you can download free editing guides along with high quality video training courses created by our team of professional Hollywood editors. Our tutorials cover a wide range of editing topics, like cutting awesome movie trailers, editing action scenes, how to work with music and sound design, and a lot more. All of these free guides and videos are available at filmeditingpro.com slash free training. I'll see you next time.